We are now looking at coordinate covalent compounds. These are a product of Lewis acid base reactions. And Lewis acid is the acid electron acceptor, which means it has an empty orbital. And Lewis acids cover a wider variety of compounds than we're looking at. So for the particular compounds that we're looking at, our acid is going to be a metal ion. So our zinc, our iron, iron our cobalt, these are our acids. They have a positive charge and they have empty orbitals. Our Lewis base will be an electron donor. That means it has a lone pair to uh, donate. And for these compounds, we're going to call them ligands also. They're called coordinate covalent compounds because they form a coordinate covalent bond. That's a covalent bond where both electrons are coming from one of the atoms. The ligands that we're looking at are going to be either negative or neutral. And um, they all have lone pairs on them. Some of them have multiple lone pairs that can bond onto the metal atom. So the number of atoms that can bond to the central atom, well, we have, the term for that uh, for one donor atom would be monodentate. For uh, two donor atoms is bidentate. And for six uh, is hexadentate. So we have a lot that will just have a single atom that will donate. This include our halogens, chloride, chloride, uh, bromide, iodide. Uh, other compounds, um, thiocyanide, water, ammonia, carbon monoxide, uh, nitrite, cyanide, hydroxide, carbonate. Uh, we have um, oxalate, which has two donor atoms on it. Oxalate is the anion of oxalic acid, a diacid, uh, has lost both of its hydrogens. And those oxygens that used to hold the hydrogen are now the donor atoms. So we have two donor atoms on that. Ethylene diamine, the amine is a nitrogen group. Uh, so ethylene is a two carbon species. So we have two carbons separating two nitrogens. The nitrogens have the lone pairs on them, and they are the donor atoms that will stick onto the metal ions. Instead of writing ethylene diamine, all the time, we abbreviate it as EN. And then EDTA, this is a common cleaning agent, ethylene diamine tetraacetate. It has uh, four acids on it, has lost all four of the hydrogens, so it has those four oxygens or as donor atoms. And it has the two nitrogens again, ethylene diamine has the two nitrogens. So it's a total of six uh, donor atoms. This is a great uh, chelating agent that will wrap itself completely around a metal ion so nothing else can interact with that metal ion. That way it will hold it in solution so you can wash it away. It's uh, used in cleaning agents to help remove calcium and iron from our sinks and our bathtubs. We have um, two numbers that get associated with um, these covalent compounds, coordinate covalent compounds, the coordination number is how many donor atoms are attached onto it. Um, which we can add up the ligands times by the donor atoms per ligand. Um, and the coordination number will also lead us into the geometry of the coordinate covalent compound. Uh, the geometry we'll cover in a different video. The other number is the oxidation number. That's the ionic charge on the central atom. And we can get that through uh, just uh, simple math of charges. So we're going to do uh, uh, several compounds here for coordination number and oxidation number. So um, for this compound, we have iron, we have five waters, and a hydroxide, and overall two positive charge. So the coordination number is the number of our donor atoms. So we have five waters and a hydroxide. Uh, both the water and the hydroxide are monodentates. So our coordination number will then be six. We add those up and get six.
and later on we'll see that uh, uh, coordination number six means it has an octahedral geometry. Uh, the charge on the iron, we um, can do some simple math. We have our iron plus the water is neutral. There's no charge on the water, but the hydroxide has a negative one charge. So we have uh, iron plus negative one add up to the charge of a plus two. So iron will equal to our plus two. We move that one across, it becomes positive. So we have a plus three. So our oxidation number equals plus three. And uh, we're going to have to know the oxidation number for naming these compounds. So the coordination number is going to lead us into the geometry of the molecule and then what type of isomers it might have. The oxidation number is necessary for naming the compound. Uh, the next one, we have cobalt, six ammonias, and two chlorines. So six ammonias, oh, the brackets. So the bracket is showing us the, our coordinate covalent ion in this case. We need some counter ions to make a neutral compound. So here we just have a coordinate covalent ion. Here we have a compound, the ion plus counter ions to make a neutral compound. So we have, so the coordinate covalent part is inside the brackets. So we have six ammonias, each one is monodentate. So we have six uh, donor atoms, so our coordination number is six. The ammonia is neutral, so we have two negative one charges. That means we need a positive two charge on that, so our oxidation number. will equal positive two. Up here again, so this was going to be a positive uh, ion, coordinate covalent ion, such as that was positive. Over here, sodium is listed first, our ion is listed second, so our ion is going to have a negative charge on that one. We only have four ligands, four hydroxides, they're monodentates, so our coordination number is four. For the charge, we have um, two sodiums plus a zinc plus four hydroxides add up to zero charge. So we have um, four times negative one, we have two times a plus one. Um, so two of these will cancel off two of those. So we have a negative two charge here. That means our zinc has a positive two charge. So our oxidation number will be a positive two. Uh, down here, sodium is the first ion, so that's our cation. The complex here is gonna be a negative charge. So we have three of these C2O4s. Those are oxalates. So three ligands times two donor atoms means our coordination number is six. The oxalate is a two negative charge. So we have three times two negative is a negative six. We have a plus three. So we have our iron plus a positive three plus a negative six adds up to our zero. So together this comes out to be a negative three. So we need a positive three here. So our oxidation number equals a positive three. Let's do a couple more of these starting from the names. There'll be a separate video on naming these complexes, but I still want to cover um, coordination numbers and oxidation numbers uh, from the names here. So this portion here it finishes with the metal 
that's the coordinate uh, covalent compound or the ion. And then this would be a counter ion. Um, so we have cobalt. So we'll put um, in square brackets our cobalt. Comes first, we know that that's positive. We, of course, know iodide is negative. We have hexa aqua. Hexa is six, aqua is water. So we have six waters. <coughs> this is our oxidation number. So we're given our oxidation number right in the name. So oxidation number equals a positive three. Iodide, they're not telling us how many iodide, but we can get it from the oxidation number since we already have it. So we have plus three, the waters are all neutral. So we need a negative three. That means we need three of these iodides. We have six waters in there, so our coordination number is six. <coughs> And so up here, potassium, we've got tetrachloral platinate, platinum eight, two. So this is our coordinate covalent compound, and this is the counter ion. So we got our potassium, we don't know how many yet. We got uh, platinum, PT. We got four chlorines. And we're given our oxidation number in the name. So our oxidation number is that plus two. So we have a positive two, we have a negative four. So the overall charge of this would be a negative two. So we need two positive potassiums to make that overall neutral. We have four chlorines, that's our ligands. So we have a coordination number of four. And here we have pentamine chloro cobalt three. So this is our coordinate covalent, covalent uh, ion, and the chloride is our counter ion. So we have cobalt. Penta is five. Amine is ammonia. We have a chloro, which is chlorine. And then we have a counter ion chlorine. We don't know how many of them yet, but we're given our oxidation number of cobalt, and that is three. So don't wait into the name. We have five ammonias, one chlorine, so that is a coordination number of six. And I didn't quite finish this, so we're told the uh, cobalt is a plus three, the ammonia is neutral, so we need three chlorines to capture out that plus three. One is built right into the ions, so the other two are the counter ions. <laughs> so this one, trimine, trinitro, cobalt three, we're not given any counter ions. So this is a, a neutral compound here. But we're starting off with our metal, a cobalt. Triamine, that means we have three ammonias. Trinitro. So I wrote down two, tri, three. So this is the whole compound here. We don't have any um, counter ions. We're told the oxidation number again. So don't wait for the name. Oxidation number equals three. We have three ammonias, three nitrite groups. They're all monodentates. So we have a coordination number of six. <laughs> 